All right, so here's the hub. And to get this hub off, we got this dust cover. I put a screwdriver down in there and I was able to pry this piece off. And so when we take that off, we see a lot of rust. So the bearings are just gonna be shot. The key is, the way this thing works is, this is a piece of pipe. It's a hollow piece of pipe, but inside that they, they inserted a, um, a solid piece of axle and then welded it to that pipe so it just extends to the other side it gives you stability and then coming out this side is going to be the axle part and then uh, then finally it's, it's threaded and then what they do is they put this what's called a castle nut on there and then they got uh, a, <laughs> what I've got of is a very rusted uh, cotter pin so I'm gonna take the cotter pin off pull this castle nut off and this bearing should slide off with I'm sorry the hub should slide off with uh, the, what's left of the bearings, but we'll get those bearings sized and get a new one. This hub is, is reusable. I'll, I'll sand it down, wire brush it down, repaint it, and then uh, again, I'll try and fit this for a little bit bigger wheel and tire. So here's what I was talking about, about a, a small axle that is, uh, was welded into this tube. Uh, the axle's in fine, is in good shape, but uh, we'll wire brush that off and, and took some steel wool and get it, get it nice and polished. Uh, the threads are in good shape. But here's what came out of it. Uh, again, there's our, to the left is the dust cover, the cotter pin below it, the castle nut, there was a washer, which is typical, and then the bearing. Bearing probably lost a lot of its grease, got rusty, and then was used and just got overheated. So we'll get all that replaced there, and also in the back side of the hub, that's the front side. The back side, there's a bearing there that we'll, we'll press out and get that, um, get that replaced too. Alright let's talk about this hub for just a second. On both ends of this hub you're gonna have basically a, a combination of a bearing and a race and this typically is gonna be pushed pressed down in there and I've pulled this now out so here's the bearing and you can see the bearing is beveled on top and bottom on the inside and then the very inside of it is where the the axle goes and that's gonna be a parallel surface. We're gonna there's no markings on these bearings so I'm gonna have to measure these to determine uh, what type of replacement I need to get. So anyway, this is the bearing and that basically just pulls right off. The race was down here stuck onto that shelf right down in there and I had to turn the unit over and hit it out with a screwdriver and a hammer. But here's the race and again this we've cleaned this off and there's no no markings on it at all. But let me just show you how we're going to measure this just to make sure we get the right replacement bearings. There was bearing race on this side, there's also bearing race on the bottom on the other side. Both inner and outer have that bearing race. So let's take a measurement. Okay, so let's get these things measured up. Uh, I got a set of digital calipers here. We'll turn it on. Make sure it's in inch mode. Press it to zero, zero it out. We're going to measure the outside of this race. And it is 1.83 there. 1.983. That's almost two inches. I'm going to rotate a little bit. And 1.981. So what that's going to do is that fits down inside a two inch diameter hole so the outside is two inches but we'll write down that exact measurement and then we're going to measure the inside of this portion so if I take this up here I'm going to close that a little bit and bring that like that and that's one inch point oh 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 five so that's it's basically a, a, a one inch inner diameter so this race and bearing combination is is a one inch inner and a, a two inch outer and that should be an easy bearing to find. We might even be able to find this in an encapsulated bearing versus the bearing and race after it slides on. And, and uh, we'll do it that way. So we'll go hunt those down and get that replaced. All right, well, it's about time to start putting things back together. These are the original hubs. I uh, used brakes parts cleaner to uh, spray down in here and with rag, and I was able to get a lot of the old grease and any other debris that was in here got that all cleaned out so it's now nice and polished as well as I used a um, a wire brush on a pneumatic tool to uh, grind down a little bit of the rust on the outside I primered, the, primered this and then went ahead and painted it white and uh, here's a piece left from the painting but now it's time to put the wheel bearings in I did find uh, at AutoZone uh, one inch wheel bearing kit and in this kit about $15 in this kit is a new 
oil seal ring that goes on on the inside very last comes with race and a bearing for the inside race and a bearing for the outside comes with a new cotter pin so we'll have to use the oh there's a washer um, outside I'll just clean it up and reuse that so first thing I do is I gotta press both of these races down into this hub so let's work on that all right let's get these races installed I went ahead and did the other one off camera just to make sure I kind of knew what I was doing but uh, here's the race and what I'll do to start with I'm gonna put this is white lithium grease I'm just gonna touch it on the outside of this puppy This is the old bearing. Yeah, there's a big difference in those hits, so this we've got it bottomed out. And the way I check it, got this little hook tool. There's a little shelf it's going to sit on, it's going to stop. And I can't, that hook doesn't go in underneath there. That means we're down against that shelf. So that side's done. Always looking, making sure it's going down even. And here, sounds different. Let's check it. Oh yeah. Okay, we're down on that little shelf, so that bearing's done. Uh, I'm sorry, race. All right, using some multi-service lubricant grease. A little tub of grease. Take some of that, put it palm of your hand. And to pack these, I would turn them, turn them down and rub it in there. All right, those are done.
Right, after sanding and priming the, the wheels, I actually painted them white and I said, you know, I really don't want them stark white, so I found some off-white, I think it's called bone white, and uh, I think that'll look a lot better versus stark white. And then once I did that, I realized that I also probably should change the uh, color of the uh, the hub, and so I painted the hub part that sticks through the wheel and all the lug nuts and the bearing caps painted the same color as the trailer. I think that's going to look pretty good. In final preparation for uh, putting the wheels back on, I'm going to put a little anti-seize on these lug nuts. They're a little hard to get off last time, so just by putting a little bit on of this on will make that a little easier. And I think what I'll do is just put a little bit on this rag and this. Not thick at all, and it'll it'll spread itself around. All right, so here's our one-inch shaft, and the bearing will press on until it goes back to this sleeve right there, and that's where the bearing will get pressed against. And here's our hub. Uh, this is the outside of the hub. The wheel will mount onto here, and then here's the back side with the seal. So we're going to push this on there and we'll be real careful in here in the front, make sure we get that. How does it look back here? Is it near that? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to press it on there. So I'm going to put this washer on and then we'll get our castle nut. And if I remember right, you tighten this down until it's tight, then you back off a quarter turn. Press all this together. That's as far as that nut will go. It's a little tight there, so I'm going to back off and see how that... Let's go this way with it. It's not going to just spin freely because it's got all that fresh uh, grease in there that's basically causing a lot of friction. But that's, that's, it doesn't have any play in and out, which it did, the old version did with the rusted bearings. But that's going to be just perfect there. I'm going to loosen up just a little more right there. Okay. Then we got to find, I don't remember where the...
Look at there. And finally, it's time to put on the wheel. Now, one thing we realize is by painting this surface right here, it was already a tight fit. We're gonna end up screwing it, kind of messing that paint up, but that's not a big deal at all. Ooh, that's my wrist. Can you tap with the screwdriver and the hammer and rotate the hub that way while I hold this? They're not aligned. Yeah, keep going a little more. Okay, well, that's good. Can I pick it up, please? Look like it. No, just put the antique on it. Okay, you're tired. Okay. All right, the wheels are back on, and man, I think they look awesome. That was that was not very difficult. If you've enjoyed or learned from the contents of this video, please click the like button. It's the simplest way to provide me some feedback to let me know that it was helpful. On the left, there's a link to a playlist that I've created for all the videos related to this project, as well as a link to subscribe to my channel. And remember, with a little bit of insight, you can do it too.